The melt-up continues. Spy coming right into the 595 strike. We closed at 595.61 today. This was a large gamma exposure concentration level that we had been watching for a number of days, and you can see it actually shifted today up to the 596 strike. And we're coming into our upper dealer cluster zone. This is often uh, a congested area where dealer selling pressure kicks in. Uh, we're just right on the edge of that, and you can actually see that there's still some room to go. We think the 600 strike here has a pretty decent potential of getting tagged volume coming in today at the 600 strike. That is nearly 600,000 contracts. Uh, traded at that 600 strike on the SPY just today. So market participants clearly still bullish. A lot of people calling for a pullback, but you know, looking at the data here, the bullishness looks like people are positioning for further upside potentially into the 600 strike. That doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow, but in the coming days on any consolidation or pullback, uh, a decent entry point could be any kind of pullback into this zone if we even get that chance for a further leg higher into this 600 strike. So that is a potential scenario that we're watching for, but based on the momentum, we could just go straight to 600. So uh, got to be on your toes in this current environment. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. I just wanted to add one quick thing. A few days ago, before the election, Gamma was already advertising to us these targets that you mentioned, you know, 600 on SPY. We had a anywhere from 510 to 515 on QQQ. And uh, SPX, you know, 6,000 to 6,055 after the election uh, was announced. We actually haven't seen that much change. And I've got QQQ pulled up here and 515 is still the biggest strike at November 15. There's some strikes that are higher, but they're still a smaller size. So uh, back to your point that, uh, you know, we're kind of at these upper cluster zones and it wouldn't surprise me at all to see some sort of pullback, even if we do continue higher before the year's over. Yeah, Sean, you know, what's also interesting is this AAII investor sentiment survey uh, just came out with this week's data yesterday. You can see bullish sentiment is only 41.5%. That is strikingly low for being at all-time highs. You can see the one-year bullish high is actually 52.9%. Just a few weeks ago, we were higher than where we are now, and we were near uh, at the beginning of October, we were near this one-year bullish high here at 52.9%. So based on sentiment, 41.5%, I mean, we still have a long ways to go. There is a lot of people who apparently are not believers in this bull rally that we're having this week. Um, I don't know. I mean, there could be some pause, but to me, that's telling me that the pain trade is still higher, even if we have uh, you know intermediate pullback, let's just say, in the next week or so. So definitely something to watch there. So now let's just talk about a few names that we're watching. First on the list is CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike, huge move today and yesterday. Today was up 3.3%. You can see there is positive gamma exposure between 320 and all the way up to 360. Volume coming in here at higher strikes as well. And we actually exited a position on CrowdStrike today. We had the 310, 325 call debit spread uh, expiring November 15th. We closed that out today on this move. $775 in profit. That was actually 7.5% on our $10,000 educational portfolio, which we do track here in our community Discord. And this is a classic gamma exposure setup. We saw price was hovering around the zero gamma exposure line for a number of days at the end of October. But positive gamma exposure was overwhelmingly to the upside. And so this is what we typically see. At some point, the momentum kicks in and rockets towards those larger gamma exposure concentrations. And so when you have the right circumstances of gamma exposure and momentum from the underlying security, those largest concentrations end up being magnets and the price usually gets tagged. And so that was the case today. We were able to lock in profits. So back to our current gamma exposure chart. Going forward, what we want to see here, we, you know, we're entering this dealer cluster zone on the upside. So there could be some, you know, resistance where CrowdStrike either consolidates around the 330 strike or potentially has a pullback, you know, into 320 or even the 315 area. 
we'd be looking for basically a little bit of time to go by. And if either of those scenarios takes place, we're going to use that as an entry point to take advantage of this continued positive gamma exposure to the upside, potentially targeting this 350 strike or even 360 strike. So that's just a little window for how we handle these strategies, how we look for our entry points. All of this is discussed in our community discord which I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check that out. Anthony, let's take a look at Roku, which had earnings already and they had a big gap down. And that gap down uh, dropped below the Daily Keltner channel, the lower channel, and has since climbed back, regained the whole moving average. Uh, we'll need to keep an eye on this tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this price uh, come back in a little bit. But as long as it holds 68, even the chart would show that, you know, it has a chance to reach anywhere from 75 to uh, call it the 80 range. And if we go over and we look at the gamma picture, um, you know, that w we have to be kind of around the zero gamma line right now. A big gamma cluster at 80. We had uh, a lot of volume today at 75, uh, which is $3 higher than where we closed. And the overall picture is positive, you know, after getting this post earnings uh, drop. So this is one that I'm keeping an eye on. Yeah, Roku looking very interesting right around that zero GEX level. Next, I want to take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA having a huge couple of days uh, the last two days coming up from the 140 level on Tuesday to now closing at 148.88. You see the largest gamma exposure concentration is at the 150 strike. Today, we saw huge volume at that strike, as we've basically been seeing for the last several weeks, big volume coming in at that 150 strike. Today, it was 400,000 contracts traded at that strike. It couldn't quite get up there today, but it does look like the market believes 150 is the next target for NVIDIA. So we'll be watching that. Uh, I don't see a ton of gamma exposure uh, above that. There's a little bit here at 155 strike. This is our dealer cluster zone on the upside, so it wouldn't be surprising to see a retracement or at least a consolidation uh, once it gets into this level. So we're going to be watching that here over the next several trading sessions, but really big move in NVIDIA coming right into that gamma exposure level. Yeah, good points on it, NVIDIA, Anthony. Uh, I wanted to come back to another name that we've uh, referenced in the past, and that's Lockheed Martin uh, LMT. What a precipitous fall it had uh, from middle of October until now. But it, a few days ago, it, it has regained this whole moving average. And uh, at this point, we're, it's climbed back to where it's right around the lower Keltner channel. So I guess what interested me uh, primarily, the gamma picture shows that price you know dropped straight from that dealer cluster zone you know through the zero gamma line and then uh the g2 cluster you know at the lower side uh the the green box here so this is kind of where we would expect uh dealers to potentially be covering shorts and buying and uh you know it, it has found support here and I don't see anything that's extremely telling in terms of volume, but we have this big gamma strike that's up here at 600 that still remains. So anywhere from 580 to 600, you know, could be a, an interesting short-term target for Lockheed. Don't forget, you can access all of the tools and analytics on our dashboard by going to geeksoffinance.com. You'll get access to our gamma exposure data and our option flow analytics. I'll put a link in the description below. You'll also get access to our community Discord. We've got a ton of great traders in there discussing trade ideas and market analysis every single day. You don't want to miss that. Link in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.